Alrighty, in this video I'm going to show how to relace a pair of earth runners with a new set of laces. What we're going to need is one of our locking clamp buckles and a pair of needle nose pliers. You can use ones at home. We also sell these on the website perfectly suited to relace your earth runners with the really skinny tip of the needle. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the tip of the needle nose pliers, we're going to go down through the thong hole. So there's about a quarter to a half inch of needle nose pliers sticking out the bottom to where we can grab the angled tip of that lace. And we're going to grab it at an angle so it has like a nice streamline so it's easy to pass through the bottom of the sandal. I'm gonna take my hands like this and do a little deltoid exercise. Just get it started with the pliers and I can finish it off with my hands. Get about a couple inches sticking out the bottom and I'm gonna fold it in a taco shape with the trim on the inside of the lace. Fold it in a taco and then kind of pull it through with my other hand. And that's gonna help it seat just how we want, nice and flush in the bottom of the sandal. And then as far as how it's rotated in relation to the sandal, we want the opening of that taco facing forward if not slightly to the inside of the sandal, so that looks perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down through the outer slot of the sandal. So I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and come up from the bottom, making sure that there's no twist in the lace as I pass it through this outer slot, pulling it, and I usually pull all the tension through, all the slack, and then I pull out the remainder, and we're looking for enough room for the foot to sit and we look for like a nice little bagel shape right there. Next we're going to take the tip of the lace and we're going to go under that loop with the tip back towards the heel just like that. We want to make sure just like we had the trim to the outside on the thong we want the trim to the outside on this heel strap. Now we're going to take the buckle and we want the buckle to sit facing out with the mouth of the buckle facing forward so we're going to come up right up to the tip of the lace and we're just gonna feed it through in that same orientation, up through one slot, down through the second slot, and I'm gonna pull that down into place. And I want that buckle to sit as far forward as possible. So I hold it forward, and then I pull all that slack through. And like you see, we have no gap between the buckle and this junction point, which is what we want. Next, we're gonna go down through this inner slot. So just like we've done the other slot, we're gonna come up with the pliers, from the bottom, making sure no twists in the lace. Grab that tip of that lace with the tip of the pliers and we're gonna pull that down. And when you're trying to uh, figure the tension for the heel, what we do, which works nine times out of 10, is we basically route it around the heel with a nice bit of tension so it holds onto that heel and it's not gonna go anywhere and that is usually nine times out of ten the perfect tension for the heel strap. Next we're going to come up through this outer slot so we're going to go down with the needle nose through that slot and we're going to grab the tip of that lace one more time and pull it up making sure there's no twist in the lace so that sits nice and flush on the bottom and now we have it coming up through the top of the sandal. Now we're going to take the tip of that lace and we're going to go under this heel strap to get our crisscross just like we had on the outer anchor point and so the trim is kind of coming in this is like I always call it the berm on the trail for your mountain bike you want to stay on the trail you don't want that berm on the outside you want it concave facing to the inside and that's going to allow this crisscross junction point to seat just how we want it when we pull everything tight trim to the outside here trim to the outside here on the ankle strap and now our ankle is coming up and what are we going to do with it? We're going to feed it with the trim to the top side under the thong strap just like so. And now we're going to break the number one rule that we've been following all along. Trim to the outside, trim to the outside, trim to the outside, but at the very last turn we're going to twist that lace right before it goes into the buckle so the trim's on the inside. So we're going to open this buckle all the way and we're gonna route it through. And so as you can see, the lace went under the thong strap with the trim to the top side, but then it turns at the very last second, 
pull the tip, line it up with the back of the heel, just like so. And as you see, this is how it's gonna sit on the foot, just like so. That's gonna allow for the most comfort, best aesthetics, most function. And then there you have it, a relaced earth runner. Mm -hmm.